Hi, I'm Mary Grace Gatlin, Princess of Glenavon, in the Society for Creative Anachronism. Welcome to Gulf Wars 15, one of the largest events our organization puts on. The Society for Creative Anachronism is a not-for-profit historical organization that focuses on the time period of 600 to 1600, so there's a little something for everyone. Over the course of this documentary, you're going to see several segments where people in our organization are going to tell you about their experience, what they enjoy, and what our organization is all about. I hope you enjoy it. is really interesting because obviously we do um, the Middle Ages as it could have been or should have been. So you're really free to have whatever role you want. Clearly we have lots of women who don heavy armor and go out. Um, women who do rapier fighting, which I do as well when I'm not bearing children. <laughs> um, but then you can, you also, there's an aspect to it where chivalry isn't dead and you know, you, you can't carry something 10 feet without having a gentleman come and relieve you of it. And um, I think it's, it's really nice because we get the best of both worlds. We get to be treated very special as women, but we also get to play whatever role we want to play. Well, at Gulf Wars, since there are many of the kingdoms of the SCA here. Uh, scribing, which is in any club, you give out awards. This club, it's one of the most important things we do is give out awards. In a way, it's the only recognition some people ever get. And when we go into court, it's a big deal, big pomp and circumstance, and what you want a pretty scroll. So the scribes, that's what we do. We make up the scrolls. We, we do the calligraphy and the illumination, and we try to keep it historically accurate. What we're looking at is the Champions Artisans Battle. What this is, is the four main kingdoms who are participating in this war have chosen five champions um, who, who do arts from each of their kingdoms to come and display their works. They're then being judged by the Order of the World, who is our, our masters and mistresses, who are the, our top artisans and top craftsmen. And each, each item gets a score. The total number, the total of uh, whoever, whichever team gets the most points wins the war point for arts and sciences. I think that what I hope for is that each artist goes home encouraged with some things to work on for next year and also with some compliments that they can take to heart. I'm Mistress Rebecca the Greyhound. Um, the, what we will be doing today is coursing the hounds. This is a sport that has gone back to Queen Elizabeth's time, it, and it was known as the Queen's sport because she happened to enjoy coursing the hounds. We will not be coursing any live lures. This will be a plastic bag. What we do is we string um, some pulleys with a string, and it's run by an electric motor, and the motor is on our flywheel, and the flywheel turns the string, which will then pull the, the plastic bag around the course. The dogs adore to course. They love running. It is, it, it, this is not a trained thing. This is very much embryo. but they, they simply adore it. They really do enjoy it, and it's fun to watch them. They, they have a blast doing this. This is a Freya's throw. 
which is a competition we've been having for about, um, this will be the fourth year, and it's an invitation to all the ladies um, at the war to come throw. They're competing against each other. The competition has a prize um, of its own. It doesn't contribute to the war point, but the hope is to get more women involved in this martial art, um, to get them to come down and throw. Most of the ladies who come are often novices, have not got a lot of experience throwing, or none at all, first time they ever picked up a weapon. It's exciting to see a lady discover that she has a talent with the spear or a talent with the knives and, and be real gung-ho. Now she's going to go out and get her own. I teach classes centered around pottery, um, hand building, throwing on the wheel, um, techniques and um, stamps, decorations, and uh, you know, general use. We're looking at the uh, a reproduction of a uh, what you would call a medieval kiln. Um, it's somewhere. It's somewhat between a clamp and a. Uh, and a simple Roman bottle kiln. We're trying to uh, see what kind of temperatures that we can get. We have we have been firing this now for the last uh, 10 hours, I believe, and we have gotten to the point where we're pretty we're pretty uh, we're pretty certain that we have reached the temperature that we know we can get. And now we're just we're just playing with it, putting in forced air, uh, seeing what we can do to raise it above the temperature that it seems to be uh, hovering at. The SCA has given me the opportunity to um, to do my own research, to actually experience and experiment with the past and uh, try to recreate it because after all, if they could do it, so can I. Greetings. I am Lady Kira Dar of the SCA. I'm a merchant. In the SCA, I sell pottery that I make. It's stoneware pottery that is sometimes researched as being period to the Middle Ages, and sometimes it is just pretty. And I make pottery just through my own hand with a potter's wheel. Then I use things like stamps and sprigs to make my pottery. And I've been merchanting in the SCA now for two years and as well as being an art teacher on the side because we all must always have to have real jobs and I find that the customers in the SCA are the best in the world if you like to feel good about yourself because they come back every time I open and stand there waiting on me every day and um, I just really love making a pottery for the SCA. I love the SCA though because it's my, my true home. This, this is when I feel like I have come home at a war or another event like that. Well met, and I hope that you will come back and visit my shop another day. I've been dancing since uh, for 33 years, and I've love doing it, I love teaching it, I love researching it, I love everything about it, how very good it is for women and for anyone it strengthens. It's a very good low impact exercise, very much muscle control and a lot of fun. I have met lifelong friends in this group that I wouldn't trade the world for. There are just so many wonderful people here that are just interesting and it's for families, it's for anyone and like anything else what you get out of it is what you put into it and if you do these things with a smile on your face and love in your heart things come back to you and that's how I feel. I think personally for me is um, I think what my, you know, my husband and I both found is a, a group of friends that we didn't find anywhere else in, in society. <laughs> Um, you know, when you join the SCA, you find a group of people who share the same interests. Um, they've read all the same books, seen the same movies, and you finally find a group of people where you feel at home. So um, I've lived all over the U.S. and all over the world and, you know, moved places where I didn't know a soul but walked into an SCA meeting and had automatic friends. So it's a really uh, special place to be.